T minus 10, 9, nine eight, 8, 7, seven six, 6, 5, Lift off of Space Shuttle and Lance. Mission to build, resupply, and to do research. International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now in the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, already traveling 500 miles an hour. Building on the history of Saturn V Apollo. The three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance going into the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Fifty-five seconds into the flight, all systems operating normally, 900 miles an hour. The speed of Atlantis right now, six miles in altitude, nine miles downwind. Atlantis, go with throttle up. Vehicle is supersonic. You heard the call out. Vehicle is supersonic. Throttle up supersonic. call acknowledged by Commander Charlie Pobod, joined on the flight deck by pilot Butch Wilmore, flight engineer Randy Bresnik and Leland Melvin. Seated down in the mid-deck are Mike Foreman and Bobby Satcher, taking off their work week with a Monday three minutes before the dynamic pressure. We're past max Q, the period of maximum loads on the vehicle. One seconds into the flight, Atlantis Next up, we'll be waiting for the side boosters to begin to throttle down. Prior to booster engine cutoff and separation, two and a half minutes into flight. Three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells, three good main GNC engines. GNC trajectory looks good on the Falcon Heavy. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight. 10 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. Reports show that the M1D engine performance is nominal. Exact engine sales begun. Side boosters have begun to throttle down in preparation for the upcoming shutdown in 20 seconds. Guidance now converging. Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, 34 miles in altitude, 48 miles downrange. Atlantis Major traveling. event coming up with side booster down. shutdown and separation. Inside and shutdown. Side boosters. Vehicle. Center. Center. South and up. The propulsion officer and mission control. Also, the the going. orbit and maneuvering system engines have ignited. Atlantis kicking on the afterburner. Seven minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Atlantis. Successful separation. We're coming up on Nico and shutdown. Eight minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. Stay safe. They have recognition. This big burn looks good inside boosters. Standing by for a main engine cutoff. Coming up on bearing separation. Standing by for external tension. Secretary side engines. On fire, also with good. Separation. Atlantis now in its preliminary orbit. Commander Charlie Popal will now maneuver Atlantis so the cameras embedded in the shuttle's umbilical load can perform photography of the discarded external fuel tank. And Mike Foreman and Leland Melvin are about to use digital still and video cameras to capture handheld imagery of the tank down a few hours from now. A flawless climb to orbit for the shuttle Atlantis and its six crew members en route now to the International Space Station. The center car in the upper left of your screen performing its own re-entry burn. You can see the, the edge of Cape Canaveral in the, both of the side booster cameras as those are coming in. Center core entry burn shutdown. 
Uh, and even though those look very similar, those two okay, boosters, three, three, uh, views, those feet. are actually representing different okay. boosters. Um, and they're headed Seven towards Earth. Eight, they're eight, about eight, to begin eight, their eight. landing burns. We'll hopefully be able to bring you nice footage of that. And watch for the landing lights deploy at the tail end of that landing burn.